In this tutorial, we'll animate the connecting rod of the internal combustion engine. Although there are many methods to animate the rod, we will use nonlinear animation and calculate the motion of the rod to ensure precision. This type of animation will give us the versatility to create different configurations of the engine later. They include inline, V, and flat configurations. Let's start by gaining an understanding of the connecting rod's motion. In this tutorial, we'll animate the connecting rod, but before we can, we need to understand its motion. I've created a simple animation which illustrates this motion. We can see that the lower bore of the connecting rod, which is attached to the rod journal of the crankshaft, follows a circular path, and the upper bore of the connecting rod, which is attached to the piston pin, follows a linear path. If we advance the animation several frames, we can see that a very unique angle is created between the center line of the rod and vertical. If we continue to advance the animation, we can see that this angle continuously changes. I'll turn off the simulated motion of the crankshaft and now we can see the actual motion of the connecting rod. It rotates back and forth around the x-axis and the x-axis is at the very center of the lower bore. Depending on the stroke of the engine and the length of the rod, a very unique set of angles are created. So in order to animate the connecting rod, we need to calculate this very unique set of angles. And we'll do that in a Libre design. Let's create a drawing that will help us calculate the set of angles we need to animate the connecting rod. I'll start by activating the XY plane. Then I'll create a circle starting at the center and I'll give it a dimension of 3 inches. This circle represents the stroke of the engine. Now I'll create a vertical reference line from the center of the circle and I'll give it a dimension of seven and a half inches. Also, I'll give the reference line a fixed constraint. Next, I'll create a line from the center of the circle to its perimeter. And then I'll create an angular dimension from that line to the reference line. And we'll input 48 degrees. Now I'll create a line that represents the connecting rod. We know our connecting rod is 5 inches long. We also know that our connecting rod has an upper bore and it's represented by this point. We also know that the bore travels along a linear path that's represented by this reference line. So let's create a coincident constraint from the point to the reference line. Now I'll create a vertical reference line that represents the z-axis in Carrera. And then I'll create an angular dimension from that reference line to the rod line. This is one of the angles we need to generate. We can also generate this angle by creating an angular dimension from this reference line to the rod line. Now we can delete this reference line. Let's input 36 degrees here and this angle changes. Now let's go ahead and generate our set of angles. We'll start with 12 degrees here. 
You may ask, why 12 degrees? Well, we have 360 degrees of crankshaft rotation over 30 frames. That gives us 12 degrees per frame. So let's open Notepad, and our first degree is obviously 0. Our second degree is 3.58. Let's input 24 degrees here, and our new angle is 7.01 degrees. Let's input 36 degrees here, and our new angle is 10.16 degrees. Let's input 48 degrees here, and our new angle is 12.88 degrees. Let's input 60 degrees here, and our new angle is 15.06 degrees. Let's input 72 degrees here, and our new angle is 16.58 degrees. Let's input 84 degrees here, and our new angle is 17.36 degrees. Let's input 96 degrees here, and we see that our new angle is identical to our previous angle. Let's input 108 degrees here, and we find that our new angle is identical to this previous angle. What we find is that the set of angles that make up the first 90 degrees of crankshaft rotation are equal to the set of angles that make up the second 90 degrees of crankshaft rotation. Also, the set of angles that make up the first 180 degrees of crankshaft rotation are equal to the set of angles that make up the second 180 degrees of crankshaft rotation. The only difference between the two sets is that the angles to the right of the reference line are positive and the angles to the left of the reference line are negative. So with this set of angles, we can animate the connecting rod.